So quick question for you. What has 60 watts, 20 amp hours, and costs close to $500? So what? This thing? Hell no. This thing. And today we're going to wire it to the 2000 watt electric scooter. So you know what time it is. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yeah, way yeah. So folks, because we're doing an uptick to 60 watts from 48, and we're going to a lighter lithium battery, I thought it would be fair to go ahead and give us another speed run with the alkalines. If you remember, our top speed approximately a year ago was 28 miles per hour. So let's see what the final top speed is with the alkaline batteries in here now, and then we'll go ahead and do our swap. Success, we returned to Kachi's cave. Let's do some good. So here are the four 12 volt batteries that make up the 48 volt system. Also, Mototech provided us with a fuse, but I'll be deleting that from the new battery, but we will be using this handy bag. And you definitely want to be careful in disconnecting the battery because there's a lot of voltage still in there. You possibly will get a spark. So there's pretty much only one connection we have to worry about cutting and soldering a connection to. And that's your cable that's coming from your controller. And the reason I'm cutting this off is because my harness is different. For my connection we'll be using the XT60s. And we have some solder seal wire connections here to make the connecting a little bit easier. Now if you do have to cut off the wires, you want to do them one at a time. So when you're done it should look a lot like this. And it's up to you but you could even put some heat shrink over this. So I hear you out there barking big dog. Shout out to that chapter. A lot of you guys are out there saying why the heck wouldn't this fool use an inline fuse. And the reason for that my friends is because the XT60 is supposed to be able to take up to 60 amps. My controller can only produce a peak of 50 amps. And then of course we have the BMS that's on the battery. See what we're about to do here is hold this company to account. You shouldn't need an inline fuse, but if there is a fire or some type of disaster, you can best believe I'll be contacting the company. So on that note, let's see if we can power her up. All right, let's see if I know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, got power. like a whole lot of power. Very torquey. Sí, 
seems like it doesn't matter. 34. And so with that folks, we obviously have a speed demon. I know it said 34 point something, but we're just going to call it 35. And that's a pretty good increase not to be going downhill. It is super fast and super dangerous. Now again, I always contributed to these knobby tires. And I am going to go ahead and try to swap them out because I think I can attain even more speed. But we had a lot of fun. I really hope this video is going to help somebody out there and hopefully not endanger your life. But until next time, this is your boy Kachi's Kid, and you know I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace, ma.